I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find area under a curve using the concept of limits. The question here is find area under the graph y equals to x square from x equals to 0 to x equals to 2. So let me sketch here and then we will explain. So let us say I uh, will draw the graph y equals to x square here. Let's say the graph is kind of like this. Right, so uh, let's say here the value is 2. Let's say this is, this is the upper boundary. We want from x equals to 0 to 2. So let this be 2. And then this is 0, right? So in this graph, y equals to x square, that's the graph, y equals to x square, we'll divide this into n intervals, right? So if you divide this into n intervals, so what is the width of each interval? Width of each interval will be 2 minus 0 divided by n. So, so we can say that the delta x will be 2 over n. Now the idea is that if n is very large, in that case, the sum of area of the rectangles will approach the area under the curve. That's the whole idea. And what we will use here is that when we make rectangles, uh, let me show you how. So each rectangle is going to be spaced 2 over n. So delta x is 2 over n. So let us say this is our first rectangle. Let's say this is our first rectangle. So this is 2 over n. The next one will be at 4 over n, right? So next one will be at 4 over n. So if I consider that one, then we'll make a rectangle kind of like this. So we'll use the right side uh, of the rectangle to find the height of the rectangle, right? Right side for height. So that's what we are going to use. So let me rewrite here. Since we are taking each rectangle of width 2n, so these will be at 2n, 2 over n, this will be at 4 over n, likewise, correct? So the next one will be at 6 over n, and let's take a general one somewhere in between. So let me call that as the ith rectangle. So width of that ith rectangle will be uh, it will be kind of like this, right? So the x coordinate for which we are going to find the value of this ith rectangle will be 2 times i over n, right? So the, so the relevant point here will actually be, let me write here the coordinates, it will be 2i over n times the value of this function at this point, which is which is 2i over n whole square, right? Since we are talking about y equals to x square function. So that becomes the coordinate points for the given coordinate, right? So that's the general coordinate. Now here, the width of this coordinate is delta x, which is 2 over n. So this width here, which is delta x, so in our case, which is 2 over n, right? Which is equal to 2 over n. So that is the width, correct? So what is the area of this one? Well, the area of this one could be area of this general rectangle can be the width, which is delta x. Let me write here, delta x times the height. So height will be equals to uh, 2i over n whole squared, right? So that becomes the area of this rectangle. And if we add all such rectangles from 0 to 2, all such rectangles, and if we add their sum, then we get area of all these rectangles. And that approximates the area under the graph. Is that concept clear? So if I do i equals to 1 to n, because there are n such rectangles, right? So there are n such rectangles, 1 to the nth rectangle will, of course, be uh, matching with this. So let me make that one also. So we are taking the right corner. So that will be our nth rectangle, right? So that is going to be the nth rectangle. Okay. So the sum of all this is going to be i from 1 to n, delta x, the constant 
width of each rectangle and f of x at the right hand point right right side point will give us the area okay now you could actually because delta x is constant and delta x is equals to 2 over n we could write this as 2 over n that is delta x and we have sigma sum of all these rectangles i equals to 1 to n and if you square this we get 4 i square over n square right 4 i square over n square okay so so that is what we get as an expression now let me take out these constants outside since they are not dependent on i so i could write this area as 2 times 4 is 8 right 2 times 4 is 8 n times n square is n cube so we get 8 n cube and we get sum of the series i square right so that is the sum of the series now the formula for some of the series will apply here, right? So which is n times n plus one. So we'll apply the formula here and write down this value as eight over n cube. And some of the series for i square is n times n plus one times two n plus one divided by six. So that is a formula which we have de derived earlier in understanding these series right so you should know the formula for sum of uh, all the natural numbers some of their squares some of their cubes uh, for doing questions on this exercise that is kind of very important right so that is the formula for some of the series so we have applied the formula so i'm removing this term and that is the sum of i square so this formula is is this part right so this part is this formula okay now we can open and simplify this bracket a bit, n cube and n. So there is kind of cancel off some of the things, right? 8 over 6 could be simplified as 4 over 3, right? So we could write this as 4, n plus 1 times 2n plus 1, right? So n3 here, and that becomes n squared. So we canceled one of these n's, and we simplified 8 and 4 to get this expression, right? Now the idea is that since we need the area under the curve and i hope you remember the concept how we got the uh, slope of the tangent line we approached the slope of the secant line approached the slope of the tangent line as the distance between the two points decreases in this case if the area of the width decreases if n is very very large correct so the actual area we can write here as equal to so we say area of the graph under this curve and over x-axis will be 4 over 3 limit of this when n approaches very large numbers so limit when n approaches infinity you can say of n times i mean n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 divided by n square so that becomes the area of this triangle right now we can actually expand the numerator and simplify this a bit to find the limits. Okay, so it is 4 over 3 limit, n approaches infinity. So if I expand this, I get 2n square plus n plus 2n plus 1 divided by n square. Or it could be written as 4 over 3 limit, n approaches infinity, 2n square plus 3n plus 1 over n square right we can divide each term by n square and then write this as equals to 4 over 3 limit n approaches infinity so we get what we get 2n square divided by n square is 2 plus 3 over n plus 1 over n square correct now as n approaches infinity, 3 over n approaches 0, 1 over n square also approaches 0. So this is equals to 4 over 3 times 2, right? which is 8 over 3. Correct. So what we get here is that the limit of this, limit of 
all the sum of these rectangles as n approaches a very large number for the graph of y equals to x square between 0 to 2 the two boundaries is 8 over 3 right so we get our answer as area equals to 8 over 3 unit square correct so that is how you could actually solve this question remember whenever you're doing questions with area of limits you should be you should have these formulas handy what is the sum of i i mean natural numbers sum of square of these numbers and sum of these cubes of these numbers to answer these questions i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps to understand the concept thank you and all the best